Toby Alice, Working Flair versus Competition Flair. So yeah, I have a question for you. I think sure. we have a little discussion. Sure. That you mentioned earlier about competition flair uh, and working flair. Uh -huh. And we've had some of these talks before. Sure. And I think a lot of people will look at our company and look at, well, we must be the working flair, absolutely, and must be completely opposite than the competition flair. And what I've always felt is that because we have such a, a good overview, is that Sure, there's the working flow and there's competition flow, but really, they're actually a lot closer together than what a lot of people think. And that's what I think some of our contests are trying to do, is trying to bring those, those things together, is trying to show that you can have all the fun and do some really amazing moves, just work it into make, to, to making a drink. And I think that I've seen over the years, like you've seen Quest, wow, I mean, three, four, five years ago, and not knocking at all, because it was a great beginning, every year they improve, yeah. right? And same thing with Legends, they're making strides into showing that it is real bartending as well. Absolutely. I agree with you. I think um, what we're seeing is that we've got, we've had, you know, working flair over here and exhibition flair over here, and they're coming together in a lot of ways. Exactly. Um, bartenders are learning how to do a lot more uh, realistic moves without a lot of setup and preparation. Exactly. And that's one of the things I think is great about going to competitions, and there's so many reasons. And I, it's too bad they're called competitions because they're not. Right. They're, they're shows. You know, it's a gathering of people that all cheer each other on and has, have a great time. Uh, but one of the great things is that you actually are forced to learn how to do the things that you cannot prepare for in advance. You're forced to learn how to throw a full bottle around under a time limit. You know, so you know, that's great if you can throw four bottles in the air for ten minutes straight. But you know what? That's not going to fly in your bar and it's not going to fly in a lot of these competitions. Until you've got Certainly a certain amount less and less now. Absolutely, yeah. you know the working flare rounds. The, you don't know, I mean, when the finals. You don't know how the bottles are set. You have no idea, and you've got time. You've got you know two minutes to make four drinks. Mm -hmm. That's pretty realistic on a bar. Yeah. So, it. Uh, I go to competitions because they keep my bartending skills sharp, and I go back to my bar, and it's, it, it keeps pushing me forward. Otherwise, I'd probably fall behind. Plus, it's just a lot of fun. It is fun. It's a riot.